Hey guys, it's Marty and welcome to Two Line Slot Cars. Today's episode is going to be a Thanksgiving update. So my kids are in for the holidays um, one last day. Family's getting ready to gather and I thought I would put together um, just a little Thanksgiving update of my track layout. Been doing some work, um, shared that on my channel a few times. I've been adding some things to the layout and I thought I'd run through those real quick today. But it's Thanksgiving, and uh, I just wanted to say I'm thankful for this new community um, that I find myself in here with uh, all of you who uh, enjoy the slot car hobby. So to you, happy Thanksgiving. Hope you take a moment and um, enjoy your family today. And my heart goes out to those who, who have lost loved ones, um, and maybe it's your first Thanksgiving um, without them this year. Um, we're dealing with that with my, my wife's dad. Um, so this is our first Thanksgiving without Jerry. And uh, yeah, today might be a tough, tough day. So for those of you who are struggling with loss, or um, maybe you don't have any family, um, or maybe you have lost some some people in your life that uh, you don't get to share this holiday with um, here in the United States, it's Thanksgiving Day. So um, I just my heart goes out to you. And know that you are not alone. Um, even though you may feel alone, there are others out there who care about you and uh, just hang in there. Um, so, but hopefully you get some turkey and all the fixings and everything that comes along with Thanksgiving. I am not a pumpkin pie guy, so you know I'm not excited about pumpkin pie, but I will eat some turkey. And uh, my mother-in-law makes amazing ham loaf. That's one of the things that I look forward to. So, yeah, so let's jump in real quick. Um, don't want to make this a long video. Um, Looking forward to getting back to the live streams on Tuesdays. Um, missed this week because my kids were in town, and I just wanted to focus on them. Um, just enjoy what little time we had. We were hoping to have a family race night, and uh, it didn't get a chance to happen. Um, but we did gather with my my dad's uh, side of the family, and we had a little bit of racing that went on. It was a lot of fun, and I have a feeling that my nephews um, will all want to be on the slot car track today. So. So maybe I'll take some footage of that and share that um, in a later video. But happy Thanksgiving. I appreciate all of you uh, for tuning in and supporting my channel. I am very, very close to 1,000 subscribers, which just blows my mind. Um, I can't thank you enough. I'm trying to come up with maybe a giveaway for, um, for once I hit 1,000 subscribers. So if you are a slot car company and have some cool things, um, let me know. I would love to buy something from you and... Uh, no, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll give away a car. Um, maybe, maybe I've talked so much about the check lane. Maybe I'll give away a Carrera check lane. I don't know. So I'll come up with something, but we'll celebrate together um, 1,000 subscribers if I make it there. So let's jump in. So I've been doing some uh, work on the layout, and I want to share a few things. Um, let's see if I can make this work. Uh, pit lane walkthrough. Um, so... Um, my brother and I worked on it a few weeks ago. We added an extension to the pit lane. So coming into the pit lane, you have a chance to slow your car down. And then we've got two fuel stops with a crossover. So you can see here in the video, um, you have two opportunities to fuel. If you miss the first one, um, you have a shot um, of catching the second one with the crossover. Um, maybe more, maybe not get a second chance at fuel, um, but you... Uh, can go into the pits without getting trapped in the pits. So if you're working a fuel strategy, you have the opportunity to um, to stagger those uh, those lanes, stagger the, your, your car with another car in the pits um, so you don't get trapped. So if you just want to get a splash and go, um, you can pay attention to the pit lane and see um, who's in there and uh, pick a lane and hopefully um, your strategy will work. So we just wanted to add some some pit strategy because we do use that when we race. Um, you know, fuel strategy is an important part of digital racing. Um, it makes it a lot of fun, so I enjoy that. So um, just going back to the pit lane. So here coming into the pits, you get your first choice, and then out of the, out of the pits you can go. Um, which uh, let me throw that again. Um, that maybe I can. Yeah, there we go. So you can see, you can just kind of hold onto that lane changer, um, kind of do a double lane change in, in and out. Um, that works really well. 
Um, so if you need a little, if you're coming in a little hot, you have this option. And hit the second fuel and out. Um, again, I'll I'll run that again. Um, very handy. We'll see how it works out. We haven't done a lot of racing with this new pit lane layout, but um, I think it's going to be fun as we as we get into what this track um, and what this layout uh, provides uh, on a race night. So um, we did some extension. So right now I'm at about 115 feet, I think, total, um, a little over 30 meters, uh, 31, 30, 33 meters um, for those of you across the pond. Um, but uh, I, we extended this inner uh, turn so it's a left-hander. Um, it's made up of some 230 turns, uh, a couple uh, 415 turns to exit. Um, and that's kind of a fun turn, uh, but I extended that. You can see um, I extended one, two, three, four straights. Um, and then you can see the lane changer that we added. So we did add some a handful of lane changers, a double lane changer out here on this side, you can see, and then a lane changer here that's just a, a left to right or right to left. Um, just to give you some more options. Uh, we find that this little straight does have, um, y traffic backs up there, you get behind a slow car, and you really, your next option isn't until this straightaway um, over here, so uh, to the left. So, and then, then we did, um, we extended this outer curve. So I built four feet extension onto my table, and you can kind of see in the carpet um, how that, that works. Um, and then I added these baskets um, at all the driver stations, uh, so that you can lay your controller. We've dropped a few controllers, which have had to have them repaired. Um, so I'm trying to prevent um, future problems there. And uh, the other thing is, is my brother likes to be on this far side of the track um, to drive in the with his wireless. And so, um, so there's the screen, but he's kind of standing over here. So I added an additional screen so that he can see um, where the, you know, the standings and then there's that that double lane changer going into the big uh, right hand sweeper to the front stretch um, and then that uh, right to left single changer um, so that you can get on the outside of that curve if you want um, just a good view of the track you can see um, how the layout uh, works works there so you know just some fun changes um, just extended uh, made the track a little longer, made some straights a little longer just so that we can open up those cars and have a little fun. Um, yes, we do still run magnets, um, especially with the family today, um, just to cut down on some of the marshalling. But I believe that um, the experienced racers at the track um, will we'll probably jump into the non-mag racing, um, and I think we're going to get ready to jump into the 124th scale uh, racing, probably Carrera. Maybe we'll jump in the BRM. Um, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I'm, I am excited, uh, about the 124 scale. Um, I mean, there's so many, there's so much selection in the one thirty second um, from a car standpoint, but I think it'd be fun to have uh, a couple 124 scale cars. Anyway, so that's the plan. Um, here I'll throw out some track footage. Um, just, um, my, uh, track record holder is my Audi, my Carrera Audi. Now this is with magnets. Um, it, it owns the track record at seven, three, two, five on 115 foot, uh, track. And so here's some footage, um, just running in ghost car mode so I can get some footage. So fun times. So this, this layout is a lot of fun. Um, again, uh, we're enjoying it. Uh, we haven't, don't have a lot of laps on it, but you know, uh, hopefully, uh, in the next couple of days, uh, we'll, we'll get a chance to do a little bit of racing and, uh, and really test it out. So guys, that's just a quick update on my layout. This is a Thanksgiving post. I appreciate all of you. I really do, um, enjoy this community. And uh, if you like my content, um, give me a thumbs up. 
um, like, sc- subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified anytime I, I jump on here and post a video or go live. Um, I have a lot of people saying, hey, I didn't get notified that, um, that you, you did your live stream. So just remember, Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern. So I know some of you, um, that's probably pretty late. Um, that's like 1 o'clock in the morning in England maybe. Um, yeah, I, I, I get that. I, I apologize. Um, I have some people asking me, um, is it, am I able to do this in other languages? Um, I don't know how to do that, so I apologize for you um, th- that if you don't speak English. Um, but I do know that that eventually YouTube transcribes. So hopefully you, uh, you can find it in your language if you maybe wait a day or two to watch the live stream. So anyway, guys, have a great Thanksgiving. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate you, and happy Thanksgiving. Have fun racing.